Hi friends, my name is Akhil Amun and in this video we will see how to move the data and log file of master database from one location to another location. Okay, so I, I installed SQL Server 2014 on my machine and uh, so let's see how we can do that. So go to the properties of the master database. Right now the MDF and LDF file of the master database are situated at the default location. You know at this location we see program files. We will change the location of MDF and LDF file to the eSQL data. Okay, so we will you know move the data and log file to this location of master database. So let's see. Okay, click OK. Before moving further, first we need to make sure that we have the full access on the current user on the destination folder that we are moving the data to. So um, we are moving data to this location e sql data so first of all we need to make sure that we have access on this drive full access on the drive so this is my current user but right now it doesn't have full control and modification access on the on the drive so just click on edit and then select the user you know apply the permissions on this and then click ok ok so now it should have a full access on the on the drive okay so now it's fine and then uh, on the folder itself uh, you know just remove the read only property click okay so now we have full access on the on the you know drive so it's very important like first we need to make sure that we have full access on the folder and on and on the drive before moving further we need to first we need to open the configuration sql server configuration manager to make these changes so open the sql manager and uh, under the sql server services go to the properties and uh, you know if you go to the startup parameters this is the default location of the mdf file of master database and this is the default location of log file of the master database so we need to change the location of the master database here copy the new location of the master database and just paste it here okay and then click on update so the default location new location of master database has been updated and now update the you know ldf location of master database here with the new one so this is the new location of the master database click apply you know you need to restart the sql server services to change the default location click ok so just stop the services of SQL Server for now so that we can copy the MDF and LDF files of master database to the new location okay so the SQL Server services has been stopped now go to the default location and copy the master copy the data and log file of master database and we pasted it them at the new location okay so now now start the SQL Server services Okay, so SQL Server has been restart, restarted and now, you know, master database is accessible. So go to the properties and okay, so the default location of master database has been changed to the new location. So thanks guys for watching the video and if you like the video, then please click the like button and do subscribe to our channel to see more videos on, you know, MSPI platform. Thank you.